Welcome to German History with a German Accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video I'm speaking about Wilhelm Mondke. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Wilhelm Mondke was born on March 15th in the year 1911 in Lübeck. After he finished school and completed an apprenticeship as a merchant, he joined the NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party, in September 1931. In November of the same year, he joined the SS troop Lübeck, the 4th SS Standarte Altona. During the year 1932, Wilhelm Monke had lost his job and was hired as a police aide in 1933 after the Nazis had taken power in Germany. Monke rose through the ranks of the SS and served in the Stabswache in Berlin in March 1933. When the Second World War broke out, Monke was commanding the 5th Company of the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler during the Poland campaign. For his achievements during the campaign, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross in the year 1939. During the West Campaign, Wilhelm Monke served with his company during the sickle cut. His troops took heavy losses and casualties in the area of Dunkirk. The severe losses were partially due to the lack of battle training that SS members were given. On May 28, 1940, Wilhelm Monke became the commander of the 2nd Battalion of the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler. On the very same day, under his orders, 80 British prisoners of war were allocated in a barn and then were shot by machine guns as well as attacked by hand grenades. As a participant of the Balkan campaign in April 1941, Monke was wounded on the very first day by an air raid of the campaign. This injury left Monke with a shortened leg and subsequently led to an addiction of morphine. In the year 1942, he got the assignment to build a tank unit for the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler by Josef Dietrich. When the Allied forces landed in Normandy in June 1944, the D-Day, SS members of this regiment he commanded killed prisoners of war again. Those prisoners of war were of Canadian nationality. Although the German troops fought a hard battle, they were unable to push the Allied forces back into the ocean as they hoped. Nevertheless, Wilhelm Monke was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on July 11th in the year 1944. About one month later, on August 20th, in the same year, he took over the command of the 1st SS Panzerdivision Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler. In December 1944, during the Adans Offense, members of the Kampfgruppe Piper were responsible for the Malmedy Massacre. During the massacre, as Esmond unarmed American prisoners of war made them line up in a field and started shooting the unarmed man. It is unclear how far Wilhelm Monke was involved in the massacre. After the Adans Offense failed, on January 30, 1945, Wilhelm Monke was promoted to the rank of SS Brigadeführer, which was equivalent to the rank of Major General in the Wehrmacht. On February 6, 1945, Wilhelm Monke was once more wounded during an air raid and gave up command of the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler to Otto Kumm. In April 1945, he was ordered to Berlin into the Reich Chancellery and was named as the commander of the government district. The Kampfgruppe Monke, Battlegroup Monke, consisted out of nine battalions. After Adolf Hitler's suicide, Wilhelm Monke became a Soviet prisoner of war in Berlin and was sent to Moscow. He spent the next 10 years in captivity and was one of the last 10,000 German prisoners of war who returned after the then German Chancellor, Konrad Adenauer, visited Moscow. 
After Wilhelm Monke had returned to Germany, he moved to Hamburg and worked as a car salesman. He died on August 6th in the year 2001 in Dump by Eckenförde, age 90.